Hey Eagle Creek, let's get warmed up. Let's get those arms swinging back and forth, kind of like you're giving yourself a big hug. There you go, swing them back and across your body. Really stretching your chest and your arms out. Going back and forth, keep going. And now bring those arms up. We're twisting side to side. And if you can, let's add a toe touching back so you can really twist. Stretching your body out, getting your body moving. Three, two, one. Let's try 10 jumping jacks. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job on those jumping jacks. Now we're just sidestepping. So this is your basic move, sidestepping. Now let's add a heel to your glute. Kind of curling that foot back. Stretching out your quadriceps as you bring it up. And if you can, let's try curling your arms as you go up. So your feet and your arms go up. Keep going. Three. Two, one. Keep going with that side step, and now let's bring your knee up. So you got that part. Let's bring our hands up. Bring them down around your leg, just like that, warming up your body. Three, two, one. Nice job. We're going to get to our squats next. Remember our squats, feet are shoulder width apart. And we're just sitting down in your pretend chair. Back up. That's one, two. Keep going. Let's try and get 10 here. Five, six, seven. Make sure you keep your chest up. You're sitting down in that chair. Two more. Last one. Nice job with the squats. Let's get down for some push ups. Again, keep your body as straight as you can. You can do them from your knees or from your toes. Let's just get some push ups in there. If you want to start from your toes and then if you get tired, drop down to your knees, that's fine. But let's just bring our body down and push it up. Keep going. Three, two, one. And let's go straight into a front plank. Again, keeping your body off the ground, holding yourself as straight as you can. We're going to see if we can hold this for about 20 seconds, right? Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, Eagle Creek, you are now warmed up. Hello, Arlington students. Welcome back to another PE lesson. We have been working hard this last month on all our different exercises, and today we're going to put it all together. So my PE teacher buddies here are going to review what our three exercises are. Check it out. All right, the first we're going to talk about is flexibility. Flexibility is stretching, okay? So we're going to be getting the complete range of motion in our joints, whether it's at our elbows, our knees, our hips, wherever it's at, okay? We do that with dynamic and static stretching. We'll look at a little bit more of that later. All right, next we have muscular strength, how strong you are, such as how many push-ups you could do or how many squats you could do. So that will be utilizing our muscular strength. And the last type of exercise we've been focusing on is endurance. How long can your muscles work? How long can your body work before it's just too tired to go anymore? So today, we're gonna use your brain power and your body power. So be ready to think, we're gonna quiz you on exercises and the three types, muscular strength, endurance, and flexibility. Here we go. All right, boys and girls, so what we're going to do, we're gonna do a series of four exercises, and at the end of those four exercises, we want you to decide if we were focusing on flexibility, strength, or endurance. All right, so you got four exercises to do, then we'll decide which type of exercise we were working on. All right, here we go. The first exercise 
is going to be a butterfly. So we're going to get down on the ground, put those heels of our shoes together, hold your ankles, and we're going to hold this for 20 seconds. Gently push down on your knees with your elbows. Try to have a nice, tall, straight back. Good job. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, good work. All right, our next exercise is going to be the sit and reach. So go ahead and get down on your pockets. <clears throat> Keeping your legs now straight. You're going to reach for your toes. Okay? Keep those knees all the way down to the ground. Roll your shoulders forward. When you pull, then you're going to feel that pull on the back of your leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Okay, you may remember this from our Halloween video. We're going to do our Frankenstein walk. When we do that, we're going to be lifting our legs straight up in front of us, and at the same time, reaching out towards that toe with the arm on the same side. So let's go ahead and kick our leg up, and we'll go back and forth in our right leg, right arm, left leg, left arm. Trying to keep your leg as straight as possible when you kick. And two more. All right, that's our Frankenstein walk. Here's our last exercise for this series. This is a forward bend. So your legs are straight and we're just leaning over, reaching down as far as you can. We're going to again hold that for 20 seconds, right? About halfway done. You can reach a little bit further, go ahead and reach. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. So we just did four different exercises, and now you need to decide what type of exercise it was. Was it muscular strength? Was it endurance? Or was it flexibility? I'll give you a moment. Hey, if you said flexibility, two thumbs up. Nice job. All right. Our next <clears throat> set of exercises would be beneficial if you could find something around your house to hold on to. The first thing we're going to do is bicep curls. So we're gonna hold on to our objects, whatever you found around your house, and you're going to curl up and down. Keep those elbows by your side. We're gonna do eight of these. That was two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good work. All right, the next exercise we're going to do is push ups. So go ahead and get down on the ground. Now, if you need to modify these push ups, you can do them from your knees. That is absolutely fine. Okay. We're going to do eight of these as well. Ready? Down, up, down, down, up, two, down, up, three, down. Up four, down, up five, down, up six, down, up seven, down, up eight. Nice work, guys. All right, next up we have squats. When we do our squats, we are going to have our feet about shoulder length apart. Feet on the ground. We're going to be just going, sitting down, like we're sitting in a chair when we do our squats. Okay, we're going to do eight of those. Here we go. Down, 
One, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight. Nice job. The last exercise we have in this series is our lunge. So we have our feet together. We're going to step out. Bring that knee as close to the ground as you can, then step back. Then step out with the other foot. So that was one. Keep stepping out and stepping back. That's two. Three. That's four, we're halfway there. Five. Six. Seven. Last one. And eight. So now again, we have to decide what exercise that was, or a series of exercises that met. So was it flexibility? Was it strength or endurance? Again, I'll give you a moment. If you thought that was all strength exercises, you would be right. Again, nice job. Now we're going to get started with another series of exercises. The first thing we're gonna do is jog in place. Here we go, jog. We're gonna do this for a total of 20 seconds. We're about halfway there. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. All right, the next one we're gonna do is jumping jacks. Okay, so your legs start off together, your hands start down to your side. As we bring our hands up, our legs go out and back down. We're going to do this for 20 seconds also. Ready? Go. About five more seconds. All right. Nice job, everyone. All right, what we're going to do now is you're going to find a wall that you can sit, lean up against. You lean up against that wall, you're going to sit down, your back flat against the wall, like you're sitting in a chair. And we're going to sit there and just hold that position, in this case, for 20 seconds. So we're just going to sit and hold. This is called a wall set. You want to challenge yourself? You can hold your arms straight out in front of you. And see if you can keep your arms up as you're doing that. Five, four, three, two, one. Last exercise is a plank. So get on down on the floor. You want to keep your body straight, bring your arms to the ground, and hold yourself up just like that. We're going to go for 20 seconds here. And just like with our push-ups, if you need to make it easier, you can just drop your knees to the ground. But if you can keep your whole body off the ground and you stay on your toes, that's the best. we got about 10 more seconds. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, five. Nice job holding that plank. So we again did four different uh, exercises there. We did four exercises there. What type of exercise was it? Was it flexibility? Was it working on strength? Or was it working on endurance? Again, I'll give you a moment. What was it? All right, if you said it was endurance, again, awesome job. So we just worked on our flexibility, our strength, and our endurance. Uh, it's really important to do all those different types of exercises to work your entire body in lots of different ways. So 
throughout the weekend as you get older. Think about all the different exercises you do. And is it a flexibility exercise? Is it working on our strength? Is it working on endurance? And your body needs to have all those different exercises to be uh, complete and be fit. All right. Awesome job. Bye.